What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be building a bracket for the transducer today. Um, fortunately, let me set this camera down. Um, so I have a three in one transducer for uh, Lawrence HDS Live 7. Um, and the transducer that I have doesn't fit on my trolling motor. Uh, it'd fit if I had an Ultrax or a Fortrax or a Trova. Um, but I have a Minkota Edge. Um, it doesn't fit because of the skeg. Uh, I'll show you guys real quick. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But the skeg right here is in the way. So it doesn't fit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a custom bracket. So it can be in the front of the boat. My only worries is when I'm side scanning. And I'm not going to really side scan much off the front, but I probably will sometimes. But side scan, um, I got I to gotta make sure that this bracket sits low enough and it's adjustable so I don't run into problems when I'm side scanning and pick up the trolling motor. Um, so I couldn't find a bracket. I could not find a bracket online, nothing for the trolling motor. You know, people suggested uh, that I run a, like the one they do for the kayaks, hang it off the side. I don't want to do that. I want to do it. I want it directly in the front of the boat because I'm going to be in the front of the boat, not on the side. I'm going to be fishing off the front, looking at the electronics. So when I see fish down deep right below me, I can just drop straight down to them, make it a hell of a lot easier on me. Um, but so here's my idea for the custom bracket. Essentially, this is what I came up with. I don't know if you, how well you guys are going to be able to see. We're back. Uh, I had to reposition the uh, camera to get a better angle so you guys can see what I'm about to do here. So, um, uh, do I have the bracket? Yeah, I do right here. All right, so this bracket that comes with the trolling motor, I mean, so the bracket that comes with the transducer, essentially this goes here, like so. That goes right in there like so. So what I'm going to do is, that can come up the back side. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this plate back together on here. That's my first step. So I'm gonna do that quick. So I'm gonna tighten that up after, but this is just on here for now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a bracket that comes down to here and I can uh, adjust it. Uh, what I went and bought is a wire lock pin. So I went and bought a wire lock pin. Um, that way there, I can put it through, close it, so I can adjust it, and I'm gonna drill a hole through a piece of uh, tubing. So I can bring it all the way down to here, and then I can raise it all the way up when I'm, when I'm gonna take off and move to a different spot. So I got a little piece that I'm gonna take this, piece of angle, this is a inch and a half, angle uh, I'm gonna take this I'm gonna make a little piece about the same size as this this bracket right here I'm gonna cut it right here and then I'm gonna attach it to that using bolts I'm gonna drill it out I'm gonna use hex head bolts um, the washer lock washer and uh, nut this is a uh, three quarter. All right. Actually, all right. I already had one cut out. I forgot. So I'm going to get this on. Put on.
All right, fits perfectly in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I'm gonna get the, the second one drilled out and I'm gonna get this stuff fastened down and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. So this is what I got for that little bracket right there. That's what I came up with. So next step is I'm gonna take another piece of angle, same thing, inch and a half. I'm gonna come to the front, just like so. I'm gonna get myself my tubing. Uh, I forget what diameter of the tubing this is. I think this is an inch and a uh, quarter. But I'm gonna come right here. So this is where it's gonna go. Right. I'm just using this as a guide. And I'll keep this straight. There's one mark there. Flip it around. Yeah. Flip it around. Make a lock there. All right, I'm gonna get this cut out. Let's cut this out quick. Is it good? There's one. There's two. All right, we're back. GoPro battery died. I uh, am got these brackets cut out. I'm gonna be attaching them with the stainless steel sheet metal screw so they don't rust out. Uh, these are three quarter. So make sure that you pre-drill your hole first. That's what I'm doing, pre-drilling them. So we are going to. Got these uh, mounted and attached. I got metal shavings everywhere, but that's besides the point. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tubing, get my tubing in there nice and straight. I'm gonna have to uh, figure something out. Maybe put some silicone on this, these sharp edges. But, oh, I'm gonna take that. Right there. Okay. Then we're gonna take a uh, five sixteenths drill bit. So you know what? We're gonna do uh, three eighths. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't have to be a, a tight fit. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tubing, get the tubing back over here. Right there. Oh, can't put the clamp in the way. Make sure it's straight. We are gonna pop a hole. We're gonna pop 
pop a hole right through everything. Then we can take our wire pin. One, two, and three, and done. That's it. Now she's uh she's adjustable. The only thing I didn't think through is the play. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to make some kind of shim to tighten this up in here so it doesn't kick forward. So don't move. So what I'm gonna have to do now is build a plate that goes across the front of this. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Which I do have an idea. I'll get back to you guys in a minute. I gotta think this through. All right guys, I'm back. I think I figured it out now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another piece of angle. Um, I'm gonna basically, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mock this out here and there. So I'm gonna make a straight line here, straight line here. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna bend this metal, this metal piece in. This piece that I cut out, I'm gonna bend it in. I'm gonna slide it in, but I'm gonna only bend it in so much to where it, it, it applies pressure to this. So, cause this is against the boat and ain't going back anymore that way. And once I slide that in with that piece coming down a little bit and have that slid in, that's it. It's not gonna move at all, um, I hope. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna uh, get this piece traced out and cut out and uh, I'll be right back. So that's about as far as I'm gonna start with right there. No, uh, we'll go from there. We'll uh, bend it more if I have to. We'll see how that works. So once that's in there, I do a little bit of trimming. So I gotta trim this a little bit. So it sits better. But it, it's, it does work and it, it is gonna work. As soon as that's socked in and screwed. All right, we got it in. I took a lot of the play out. There's not that much play in there now. I mean, that's about as much play as my trolling motor has. So that'll work. Even if I got to uh, stick one more shim in here with something through here. But that right there should work. So now I have to attach. I gotta attach the bracket to that and then attach that to the transducer. So, we have to see where I want it to sit. Oh, well, I will be right back. All right. It is finally done. Check it out. This is what I came up with. Nice little bracket. It's pretty stiff, to be honest with you. I mean, it's got a little bit of play, but it ain't that much play compared to the trolling motor. I mean, the trolling motor's got a hell of a lot of play in it. So, with this being mounted like this, it's definitely going to be um, a lot more, uh, it's going to be a lot better of a reading. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta I gotta zip tie this. Zip tie this wire off to that. I'm just gonna do it down the bottom, put a zip there, 
and my zip there. Kind of leave this a little loose so I can slide it up and down. But we got the pull pin. We pull that pin right out. Raise her up. She's nice and tight like that, so I don't even have to worry about it slipping out. I don't think I went up too far, but anyway, you kind of get the uh, kind of tough to do this with one hand. But that'd be the bracket. That's it. That's what I could come up with. Like I said, I got this piece in here. I notched it out around this, but I bent the piece down and in so I can stiffen this up a little bit. But that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. I really hope this video uh, helped uh, somebody out, out there. Um, if this video helped you guys out, please leave a comment down below saying it helped you out. Um, this is what I can come up with that way there. I don't have to mess with the trolling motor and rip the skag off the bottom. A lot of people rip their skag off. Uh, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not going to rip my skag off just for the install of the three in one. But that bracket will work. Hey, it is what it is. And uh, I'm actually pretty proud of that bracket. I'm not going to lie. But for all you small boat guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And for anybody else watching, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button. Uh, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe. Also, check out my buddy Kyle's channel, uh, Northeast Outdoors. We're going to be doing a lot of filming this year. We've got a lot of crazy things coming up. So, stay tuned. Also, giveaway. Giveaways, giveaways, giveaways. Um, I'm on the road to 1,000 on YouTube. Um, and I'm going to do a massive giveaway for that. Uh, I'm going to go out and buy a bunch of baits, like a bunch of good baits, like jackhammers and... Stuff like that. Some real good stuff for a real good giveaway for when I reach a thousand on uh, YouTube. Um, 19 followers off on Instagram from a thousand. Um, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway once I hit that. Probably hit that by the end of the week. So if you're not a follower, be sure to follow me at uh, fishing underscore the 401 on Instagram. Um, I'm going to be doing a good giveaway for that one as well. So. Till next time, tight lines, guys, and I'm out of here. Peace.